But Raheem Morris is the definition of a leader of men. All of these people, or many of them, I think, are going to say that Raheem Morris is the best coach I ever played for. But a coach that the players respect and will run through a fucking wall for. And I think that's what Raheem Morris is for the Atlanta Falcons. So I like the hire. I like him I like it. I like the hire also. Uh, he's definitely put the time in, won the Super Bowl as the D.C. at the Rams. Uh, coach Aaron Donald, Coach Jalen Ramsey, Coach B. Wags. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was the head coach in Tampa from 09 to 11. Very, 09, yeah, very familiar with very familiar uh, mm -hmm. with this division. Like I said, coached in Tampa. Falcons Nation, the time has come. After weeks of head coaching interviews, Bill Belichick, Raheem Morris, it has finally come down to Raheem Morris, and this is an absolute dream fit here for the Falcons as we heard from Shannon Sharp and Chad Ochocinco guys this is an unbelievable hire for the Falcons in this video I'm gonna deep dive into why I believe Raheem Morris is not only a good fit but he is the perfect fit for this Falcons team not only for next year but for the entirety of the future of their franchise it can really be the stepping stone in the right direction to bring this team to being one of the best defenses in football. But not only that, they obviously have the playmakers to start to become one of the best offenses in football as well. When you look at a Kyle Pitts and a Drake London and a B. John Robinson, I mean, guys, this team is going to be good. And with the head coach like Raheem Morris, this is a perfect fit. Now, you might be asking, well, why are we watching Rams highlights? Because he's on the Falcons, right? Well, the reason I'm showing you guys these highlights is because of one reason. He was the DC for the Rams, even when they won the Super Bowl a couple of years back. But this is his team. He has developed so many players. And when you look at his, his tree of players, we see guys like Julio Jones, a guy like Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Bobby Wagner, Ernest Jones, who's becoming a superstar here in LA, Byron Young. Do you know how many young guys this Rams team had this year and how good of a defense they still were? Yeah, that is thanks to Raheem Morris. Now, the difference between Raheem Morris and a guy like Bill Belichick, think about it for a second. Bill Belichick, yeah, his resume is one of the best we'll ever see. And that's there's no doubt about that. But Raheem Morris brings an entire new dynamic to Atlanta that we have not seen in a long time as Ernest Jones makes a big play there, forces a fumble. Like I'm telling you guys right now, if you want development, if you want guys playing at their absolute highest potential, Raheem Morris is the guy for, for you, right? Now, listen, all respect goes out to Bill Belichick, but I feel like Raheem Morris can get guys bought in. Ocho Cinco even said himself, Raheem Morris is a guy... That will make guys run through Wall Street. They'll want to play for you, right? Unbelievable. And I think this is going to be huge. I think it's going to be huge, massive for what they're trying to do going forward. Now, before we get any further into the video, comment down below a grade for the Falcons this season, but also predict their record next season. And lastly, comment down below one word that you would describe this head coach hiring in your opinion. One word that you think you know, fits Raheem Morris and what he's going to bring here to the Falcons next season. Unbelievable play by, by Aaron Donald. God, I'm telling you, Raheem Morris, he is, he's coached some very, very talented guys. You're talking about Aaron Donald, the best defensive tackle in football. Jalen Ramsey, the best cornerback in football for a long stretch there. Julio Jones, one of the best wide receivers in football back in, you know, at Atlanta when he was interim coach and before that as well, right? Guys, I'm telling you, this is going to be huge. But do me a favor real quick. Before we talk about that, hit the like button just so we can help get this video out to more Falcons fans around the world. But also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the family. It is free. I'm going to be covering the Falcons for the rest of the season. And lastly, one more big favor for me. Make sure you guys do me a big favor. Go check out BetUS. It is my favorite sports book in the world. And they're giving away Super Bowl tickets. Guys, I'm going to put a little, you know, segment right here to show you how to do it. Go check it out. Link in the description. Sign up. Go win yourself some Super Bowl tickets this season.
Not only is Raheem Morris making a stamp on this football team, but he's also bringing in a familiar face back in LA with him, Zach Robinson, their offensive coordinator, or for the Rams, he was also, um, you know, a pass game coordinator coach or quarterbacks coach as well. But now he's going to come over here and help Atlanta get their offense going. And I think this is also huge when you talk about what they want to do offensively. I thought the Rams were pretty good this year, you know, with Matthew Stafford. You talk about, you know, coaching up a guy like Cooper Cup and, you know, Puka Nakua. Guys, think about it for a second. When you want to get guys developed, I mean, this guy has done what it takes to, I mean, look at Puka Nakua. Imagine what he can do with a guy like Drake London and, you know, a guy like Kyle Pitts. Guys, this is exciting. And this is going to be extremely, extremely fun to see the development of some of these guys. Not only is Raheem Morris the typical, the player coach that everyone wants to play for. They want to run through walls for you. They want to play for you. It reminds me of the... You know, Antonio Pierce hiring for the Raiders, you saw them just struggle and struggle and struggle with Josh McDaniels. And then, boom, all of a sudden, Antonio Pierce comes in and the team wants to play football again. Guys, this is going to be very similar to what we see here in Atlanta. I'm telling you right now, you're going to see players who you didn't see last year play very, very good. You're going to see guys like, hey, maybe even Desmond Ritter. I don't know. I don't know who the quarterback's going to be. Now, with that being said, there's still a lot of question marks, especially around the quarterback position. Do they go out and, you know, keep Desmond Ritter? Do they, you know, let Taylor Heineke have another run at it? Do they draft a quarterback? Do they sign a guy like Kirk Cousins or um, a guy like Ryan Tannehill? Who knows what's going to happen? And comment down below real quickly, who do you think the quarterback for this team should be next season? But also... The Falcons have a very interesting thing, you know, happening with the number eight overall pick right now. I mean, do they go and take out an elite pass rusher or someone that could be an elite pass rusher in, you know, Alabama's standout pass rusher, Dallas Turner? I mean, that could be massive. What do you guys think the Falcons should do with this offseason? If you want to see more of these breakdowns, specifically film reviews, if you want me to break down a guy like, let's see, Jeff Okuda from this year, or a guy like Jesse Bates, or B. John Robinson, comment down below more film in the comments down below. Um, you know, I would love, I would love to sit here and make a bunch of Falcons videos for the rest of the offseason, but that's only if you guys want me to. So do me a big favor, comment down below the number one if you want to see more Falcons videos throughout the rest of the season or offseason, I should say. But also comment down below the number two if you think Raheem Morris is going to completely change the outlook here of this Falcons team for next season and make sure they're headed in the right direction from here to the rest of, you know, time he's you know spent here in Atlanta but man I personally am super excited about this hire I think Raheem Morris is a guy that you know these players Jesse Bates and Caden Nellis and Clayus Campbell and you know but all these guys all these guys every single one of them are gonna want to play here they're gonna want to stay they're gonna want to resign because Raheem Morris he's that type of guy comment down below your thoughts and I'll see you in the next breakdown peace